Hello friends, so today we are going to see a uh, chess game played between Mir Sultan Khan with the white pieces against Vera Menchik. Vera Menchik was a women's world champion between 1927 and 1939. She defended her title six times and uh, she was a pretty strong uh, chess player. She also competed in a lot of open tournaments which was uh, which was very different in those times because there were not too many women chess players unlike today. Right, so let us let us see this game between Vera Menchik and Mir Sultan Khan. The game starts with the mode d4, knight to f6, c4 and e6 and knight to f3. So uh, here we have got uh, a kind of a queen's gambit decline kind of setup with knight to f3 and then d5 is played, knight to c3 and knight bd7 and uh, now we have got the exchange variation of queen's gambit declined after c takes on d5 e takes on d5 and sultan khan plays his usual fianchetto uh, g3 bishop to d6 bishop to g2 c6 castles castles and uh, here sultan khan play, plays an interesting maneuver which which is kind of very difficult to uh, difficult to comment on because uh, it it involves moving the knight to h4 first and then moving the knight back to uh, and then moving the knight to f5 attacking the bishop so not very clear on on the idea behind this maneuver what what he was trying to achieve because on the face of it it just seems to be just uh, moving the knight around without getting the knight into the into the right slot but but anyway so the game continued rook e8 and then knight f5 and bishop f8 so i would say position is completely equal at this point sultan can continue with queen to c2 and then knight to b6 so now we now we have a a, a position where uh, the knight is is on f5 the bishop uh, the dark squared bishop and the light squared bishop both are kind of freed out for black so both the bishops are active uh, black's pieces are pretty much developed at this point and uh, black has the control on the semi open e file which gives him good pressure on the e2 pawn especially so with with all this i would say black probably has a, a slightly better position and uh, even though this position is, is not completely open but but it is a semi open position but even in this position I think uh, Sultan Khan played his knight to h4 so this is a very interesting maneuver the knight going from f3 to h4 to f5 and then coming back to h4 so not quite sure uh, what is going on so bishop to e6 was played so Mira Venchek kind of developing all her pieces. Rook to d1. Queen to d7. I guess bishop to h3 being the idea. So here uh, Sultan Khan tries to get some counterplay on the queen side taking some space with a4 with a threat of a5. Menchik develops her final piece the rook to d8 and now a5. And now knight to c8. So a move which which we could consider here is something like knight to c4. Uh, and after something like b3 in this position, maybe something like knight to d6 can be played, which would uh, which would which would give a good control on the e4 square. And I think black will have a pretty good game here. Instead of yeah, instead Vera Menchik played knight to c8 and knight to a4. Now, now both the knights have been kind of put in the rim, uh, which which is quite 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 odd uh, in this position. So, where is the knight on a4 going? Not quite sure, because if it goes on c5, then it can get chopped off by the bishop, and then there may be some some possibilities for black to put pressure on the c5 pawn uh, at the same time black has 
uh, some counterplay again with with pushing the deep on as well so really in this position okay I mean not sure whether knight knight on a4 really is going but uh, Vera Menchik continued with bishop to h3 maybe a better move here would have been just to continue with knight to d6 with the idea of playing knight to e4 and uh, and then it will c control the the c5 square so now perhaps if knight to d6 then then maybe knight to c5 is better so so perhaps knight to d6 immediately may not work here so bishop to h3 uh, all right after bishop to h3 uh, sultan khan kind of played an interesting move which is bishop to h5 now after bishop to h5 black took on g2 and white took back with the knight on g2 so position is is absolutely equal maybe the black is a slight, slight edge but but nothing more than that but here vera menchik played an inaccuracy here queen to g4 so okay now the bishop is attacked on g5 the pawn on e2 is attacked so what to do so so now this is this is very interesting because now i think bishop takes f6 is kind of forced if you retreat the bishop you kind of lose the pawn on e2 so bishop takes f6 and here the only move is g takes f6 which is going to give a white uh, a edge because of the double pawn structure which can be just now suddenly becomes a weakness and which can be exploited so after bishop takes f6 vera menchik probably miscalculated in this position and she went rook takes e2 which is just a blunder so possibly her idea was once the queen moves then then she can pick up the bishop and remain a pawn up but uh, she me miss sultan khan's move can you uh, you may you may want to take take a minute kind of pause the video and and see what the move may be all right so, so the move was simply picking the rook on e2 and after queen takes on e2 picking the other rook so now white is simply winning because white has two rooks in this position and another piece so two rooks and a and a, and a kind of uh, i would say a knight uh, as compensation for the queen and simply that is too much force for the queen and the king is also pretty safe so there's, there's nothing in terms of any compensation for vera so f6 here yeah probably afraid of rook e1 and then rook e8 some such moves bishop to c7 bringing the bishop back into the game g5 maybe trying for some kind of a counter attack on the king side knight to e3 so just solidifying the position h5 a6 all right now b takes e6 is not probably the most accurate move perhaps something like b5 need to be played keeping the position keeping as many pawns as possible in the position and hoping for some mistake in this position but that's not that's not going to happen okay so after b takes c6 then simply that is that is already a target now on a6 and then there's a target on c6 so so this is just going to be very easy for sultan khan queen to b5 supporting c6 and now knight simply comes back to c3 all right queen takes on b2 okay picks up a pawn but after rook a to b1 the rooks are simply dominating the position queen to d2 all right queen to c2 was played rook to c2 was played in this position maybe also worth a try would be bishop to a5 uh, that that is of course the simple threat of uh, knight c takes on d5 attacking the queen so queen to d3 is virtually forced and now rook to b8 now with the threat of knight takes on d5 so knight to b6 and our bishop to b4 knight to d7 and now rook to c8 queen takes on d4 bishop takes on f8 
knight takes on f8 rook takes on c6 so just i mean everything is, is just falling it's just collapsing so so yes i mean bishop a5 probably slightly better but after queen to a2 sultan can play rook c2 just uh, given given his prophylactic style not not allowing any counterplay for for uh, white in this position for black in this position so queen to d3 and now everything is protected the rook is protecting the knight the knight is protecting the rook and so on so now rook, rook to b8 knight has to move to e7 bishop to d6 now the bishop is attacked king to f7 knight c to d1 now the rook is free the rook the c rook is free to move the knights are protected a5 just, just desperado here rook c to b2 doubling the rooks a4 rook to b7 a3 rook takes on a7 a2 just bring picking up the pawn on a2 f5 rook a to a8 now attacking the bishop bishop to g7 rook to b7 and now a piece is going to fall bishop to f6 bishop takes on e7 bishop takes on e7 rook to a7 f4 and rook takes on e7 now simply two rooks and two pieces for the for the queen and and here i think where i mentioned resigned but i i i all i felt that in this game it was just a slight bit of miscalculation by Vera Menchik, which kind of led led to a demise. But overall, nice tactical uh, game by Sultan Khan. He just uh, he just he just kind of played his pieces around, waiting for waiting for some kind of a mistake from the opponent. And when he got the opportunity, he just pounced on it. So so once once he got a position which was which was uh, materially superior right for so something around around here i would say right around here then the idea was just to find entry spot so so when you've got a material superiority kind of secure your position and that's what he did and once once he secured the position then you find entry points for your for your pieces if there's rooks then you need open files if it is knights you need you know some kind of outpost and so on so so once those entry points were secured with with this kind of you know complete lockdown of the position no checks nothing possible and if you see the queen is it doesn't have too many place to go there is no check there's no perpetual nothing and now now the, by the first rook is free to move around then some exchanges and then finally the second rook came into play and once once that came into play it was all over so overall very very good instructive game of how to win when you are materially better and uh, this was not this was one of the probably poorer games by Vera but nevertheless always instructive to to look at different kinds of games all right thank you for watching and uh, have you guys have a have a very good day and I'll see you again next time on inspired checks